A central Massachusetts store is known for its Christmas decorations. The family tradition began more than 30 years ago and is now one of the only few left in the country. Our Chandler Walsh joins us now with the story. Chandler. Olivia, Valencourt Folk Arts Store is a winter wonderland. They say they focus on making high quality Christmas ornaments, gifts and Santa Clauses with limited production. In this Sutton shop, it's Christmas every day. Do we ever get sick of it? No, because when you're dealing with Christmas, Christmas is magic. If searching for chalkware Santa Claus is, Valencourt Folk Art is one of only two places in the country to find them. Owner Gary Valencourt says the Christmas shop opened in 1984. They make dozens of styles of Santas each year from their collection of antique chocolate molds. So they actually show Santas that are before what we think of as Santa Claus. It shows French piano wells, it shows German Knecht Rupert, it sells Sinterklaas from Holland. One corner of the studios resembles Santa's workshop. Lisa McCunis has been painting here for 21 years. She says painting each Santa takes a few hours, but the real process comes before the brush. Pour it for an hour, drying for two days, whitening it, and then doing all the base coating, all the detail. It's Ginger Noel's first time at Valencourt, but she says it won't be her last. She picked up personalized ornaments and a Santa. We may start a new collection of these today. What made you pick that one in particular? I like how his eyes sparkle. Valencourt says most department stores have lost the Christmas spirit they work to keep. They draw visitors from all over to experience the magic. We had people in the other day from Utah. We had people in from British Columbia. Uh, and we have wonderful local residents who find their way with their children every year. Valencourt says these next few days leading up to Christmas are both exciting and chaotic. They say people making orders only have a couple more days for their purchases to arrive in time for the holiday. Chandler Walsh, Worcester News Tonight.